everyone, this is Sam and welcome to another video course Piano Well. In this video I'm going to show you how I'm practicing skills with Piano Well system. between notes oh, this way now the movement dip, the movement of the note depends on um, on the previous note if the current note is higher than the previous note then the movement should be to the right if this note is lower then movement will be to the left so that's why if we're going up Every single note is higher than previous. That's why all the all the notes are going to imagine with movement to the right. And as we go as we go down, every single note we're imagining to the left. Uh, the very first note I'm imagining to the left, and then afterwards everything right, right and then left. Now the way we're playing it. Uh, because we're measuring every single note to the right, we keep this shape of our wrist. And if you pay attention, I don't do like this, which most of the students do. Uh, just because I am measuring every single note to the right. And when I'm going down, the shape of my wrist remains Again, I'm not doing this with my wrist. Now that when we move elbow, um, we are actually changing positions many many times while I'm playing scales. This is the first position, this is the second position. And uh, I choose um, to move my elbow on every time I'm playing my third finger. So basically, when I'm playing E, I move my wrist and then I move my, my elbow. Wrist, elbow. Wrist, elbow. When I'm going down, I'm still um, moving my elbow when I'm playing, while I'm playing third finger. Left and elbow, left. I choose um, when I'm choosing third finger for transfer notes because third fingers kind of may choose both hands so in this case it's very easy to move elbow um, simultaneously both hands uh, so after we analyze this we're gonna imagine every single note in um, cellos, violins with movement to the right and to the left and uh, playing it watching our wrist and elbow movements and of course um, we, we still keep our posture properly like <laughs> sitting the edge of the uh, range and um, watch that the height of the stool is correct so our elbow 
a little bit higher than our wrist and um, yeah <laughs> and keep our back straight all right very simple <laughs> Again, this for left hand, everything absolutely the same. I'm using cellos over here and violins <coughs> as we're going up. Um, so we're gonna imagine both hands like poly like polyphony. So every single note, two notes in our hand, in our head. changes everything freedom in sound freedom in body all right um next step uh, we're gonna listen to harmonies of every single scale in my case i already did that so major so let's concentrate on c major so i'm gonna imagine every single note in timber with movement in um color of C major harmony. Okay. Alright, and playing it with intonation with. Please be sure that you still remain the same movements of note. <coughs> Hello. 
last sound texture. <laughs> and again, when we play, we use intonation and we. in the descending sentence the 
first one. So I'm gonna play by sentence right now. image we got from emotional color of every uh, chord so let's make it simple major will be joy and minor will be sorrow so i'm gonna play um, c major and uh, sound texture with phrasing musical speech and feeling emotional image in every little interval i'm intonating development 2 <laughs> and Help you to play 
faster and with ease while playing um, scale and regional tempo. Um, two more steps left. We're gonna add time. I pulsate every single octave. I know uh, sometimes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. But if I'm gonna pulsate like this, that will break my phrasing because movement of motive I define as one octave. Um, so in this emotional image and form, we're gonna feel pulsation every single octave. And in this case, it's gonna be quite calm. it without time. We still pulsate and before playing faster, make sure that we um, tune it emotionally which in form and feel pulsation, which is quite lively, and only then we play. to play it in a very slow tempo because there is a whole bunch of things you need to think about while playing. Um, so what I'm gonna do is imagining every single note and sound texture with harmony that name is balance with movement and I'm gonna play it with phrasing and I'm gonna tune into um, form emotional image feeling it in time and express it through artistry. Um, just wanted to add something and I just forgot. Okay, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to show you first in the um, moderate tempo. Right before playing, don't forget to gather weight and feel how you express everything through artistry. <laughs>
platform is not boring as I said because it is still um, creating everything, you create your skills and even you can play skills with your own interpretation in this case. Alright guys, see you in my next video. In my next video I will show you how I'm practicing arpeggios with piano system. Bye!